so we have seen the first part of this question and uh, today question and this, this was the insert interval right and uh, we, we are doing insert if, uh, is, if it is possible if not if this is overlapping then we have to write so if we want to recap right so uh, we have seen that this is the start point and this is the end point right if uh, a new interval is coming like this right so what we are doing if this is overlapping the previous one then we are we, we are discussing discarding this and we are assuming this is our new interval correct and and if we, we can merge this like this one so we can uh, do like if you're not aware with this one so please going to see in the uh, previous part of this question right part one of the question in which we have seen the linear search now uh, if you uh, talk about the linear search complexity in this program right so what we have taken here we have n number of what n is a number of uh, uh, intervals right n number of intervals we have right intervals and uh, n n and uh, in the given intervals right this was a list right given now so it's will we have to be used to uh, move in the linear search linear time right and that's why we will take its o n right o n time complexity will have as a tc time complexity but if we'll talk about the space complexity right a space complexity right so what will the space complexity see we we are inserting an interval into the list right and that will take o of 1 right it will take o of 1 because uh, we are inserting at a time okay so it will take that time we are not taking any extra spaces and so that this is o of 1 let's talk about the binary search right So we have given intervals and uh, new intervals and we have seen already the first part of a problem in which we have already seen the linear search now we are going to do the binary search okay so let's uh, begin from here okay so first of all uh, what we will do we will have our insert interval right as we have already created this one right but uh, we are doing the new from the scratch so let's understand okay so i'll create first uh, insert interval function right and uh, this in, inter, inter, in, uh, insert interval function will insert that uh, new interval and will return you the uh, new interval right as an intervals right so we will update this interval by adding this right so we are updating this one with how let's see we uh, 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 we are doing insert interval function right insert interval and this is fun right this function we have created we have to create right and this function will take what two things first it will take uh, intervals and the another will take this one right so if i'll talk about these two things right like this right so we will pass we'll take this and we'll put outside to create right and uh, now we know we have this one and this one we will pass right so no need to create correct now we have what we have created uh, we, we will create here and we will update intervals so this is updated intervals right so or either you can say update interval insert or update right we'll say so this function will uh, return what uh, intervals and this is our in the form of array to the array this is the return type of the function right so inter in, in uh, insert interval this this uh, function will insert the interval new interval and will create uh, will update the uh, this interval correct uh, the intervals function so first of all we will go here and we'll create this function right so let's do this creation so how we will create uh, how we will insert this new interval right so new in the new interval uh, we have to create we have to convert into first we will convert into list so we will append each time right so this is our interval we have right so this interval we have to uh, convert into list right so as list we will do intervals sorry sorry it's not arrays we have to do with the arrays right arrays dot uh, as list right 
as list is a function in which we will pass the intervals correct so this we are passing intervals and it will convert into our array so we have to hold somewhere right so that's why we will create our list and we'll uh, take integer like this we'll do and this is our what list correct and this sorry this is our list that is new array list and we'll pass what like this we'll pass correct so this is our uh, inter, uh, new uh, new list right actually this is the uh, interval only okay now we will create a function and that will find its uh, upper bound okay upper bound and lower bound we have to find right so let's find so we'll take int uh, index and we'll say the I will create upper bound function right upper bound upper bound function will take and this function will take what uh, will pass interval and new interval new interval like this right so now we will go and we will create this uh, new upper bound function right so let's suppose what is what what does it mean i'm saying so this upper bound function will take two things right these two correct and we have to we have to take care its type right so let's see we are passing this only we'll pass this two and uh, this will return what integer right index is integer this is our index will return in integer and that's why we're taking now create make this body first of all if we'll check interval if intervals dot what length right if length is equal equal to zero means what we are we have uh, if means we are empty right so we will we will return zero right intervals to length is uh, dot length is zero means we have to return zero because if the empty list is empty you, you insert a new interval at the zero position right so this we have to append at zero position if interval is empty then add new interval add add on add on zero index zero index let's suppose add on then add into the zero index yeah. now what we will do we'll uh, in the binary search right we have to take a start that will start from what zero then we'll take an and and these ends will be to start from what intervals dot length and it should be at least one minus because we are starting from zero two things done then we will, we will make while loop and we'll check a start is less than equal to end if it is to end right then we will not do anything otherwise we'll do we'll find mid equal to what start plus and start plus and by what two we will get the mid mid index right and then we'll check we know the binary search right so intervals this is our intervals right so intervals at what mid and zero is greater than new intervals right this is our new i should be interval i capital and this would be in zero if mid at zero is greater than this one then we will do what we will update our answer right so let's suppose we have created one uh, variable that is our answer and this will take what initial value intervals dot length 
initial value we have updated now this answer now this answer should be updated right and this is our answer is mid now mid index if that is the case if not then we will update and equal to mid minus what one we will do mid minus one we are updating our its end now in the else we will check if that is not the case we have to update our start a start should be mid plus one means half part we have to discard right now after this while loop right after this while loop we should return this answer right after this while loop return what answer i think this function is done so we have created this function it will return you index right what we have did here in this function we have taken what uh, interval is equal to zero means we have to update at index means we are uh, interval is empty we have to put into the zero index otherwise we will start from zero and we'll go to the end and we'll uh, find if a start is less than end then we will do mid we'll find the mid and if uh, intervals uh, at mid and zero is have greater value of the interval then we'll update the end minus one uh, mid minus one is end and uh, that's so half part we will have discarded otherwise we will uh, previous half part we have discarded after otherwise else we will discard the first part of this one right then we will have the, our index now we have our index <coughs> we have also inserted this interval right so we will complete this interval so now we have your index right now you have this index correct so you will get your index correct after that what we should we should do here we should check if index not equal to what interval dot length if not equal means what means we have to add we have to add on the list what we will add we will add this at this index you should add new interval correct otherwise otherwise what we will do we'll go to the else condition and we'll say list dot add on to the last what interval are the two cases there right either add that index or the in add into the last after that if this case is done right then we are uh, we are done and we will return into our list right we will return this list into array we will do array and we will pass our value new integer we have to a uh, new uh, array we have to create in which will pass list dot size uh, size and another will pass its its uh, pair two pair we have to pass okay this part is done now <coughs> your interval is done correct once you have inserted this function uh, in, inserted this value you have your what interval correct you have your interval after this uh, updated interval after this interval uh, after this updated interval what we should do we should uh, check for is this contains a overlapping or not if it doesn't have overlapping then we will merge right uh, otherwise we will append this right so how we will do that we will uh, go to its all the intervals from the intervals right i'll start with uh, index 0 all interval you go this is interval this is the way we'll do from a start i'll i should go to intervals dot length right its length and i 
plus plus in this we will get our current interval let's suppose this is our current interval this is our current interval and it should be in array form right this is this would be our array so this will give you in the pair what should be the pair the first should first pair should be uh, intervals this interval is in array form right so this is the array at i array at intervals at i and at zero index we will have its first pair and then we will pass its interval at what its next pair uh, at zero and one right so we will update this one so you have our current uh, intervals here now current intervals here now we will merge this list and get uh, until we will merge until the list get exhausted and no overlapping is found right so how we will do that let's merge all those while and we'll say this is our if i is less than what intervals right intervals dot length and there is a function we'll create is overlap as previously we have created overlapping is overlapping uh, interval this is the function we'll create and in which we will pass our current uh, intervals and then we will pass intervals at what i so we will pass two things right and then this loop will continue so first let's suppose we are going to create this one so it will take two things right if this is the function and it will take two things first current interval it will take into an array and then uh, current interval is what it's an array form right it will return in the in the single array uh, you can say so this is our uh, let's suppose interval and this is our from intervals at some value let's suppose some new new interval or something we can say so two thing we have to pass here in the interval side so if this will overlap right if this will overlap right so what we have to pass let's suppose this is our x and this is our y so if both will overlap then we will return boolean true or false right we should return boolean true or false and how we'll do that we'll check if it is uh, overlap right means we have to pass math dot mean math dot mean and we'll pass what x at what x at 1 comma x at uh, sorry y at 1 whichever is minimum then math dot what max will pass x at 0 comma y at 0 which one is max right greater than equal to 0 then if this value uh, we are doing what minus mean we will get the mean value at x and mean value at y okay if you'll do the minus and it is if it is coming greater than, it is coming what uh, greater than equal to zero right means it is overlapping will return yes otherwise it will return what false okay so this function is done now we are coming back to here correct so once we have each overlapping function is done correct now if we have each overlapping function is done then what what will happen we have we have no interval let's suppose we have we have to merge what we have to do we have to merge and no overlapping found overlapping we don't have no overlapping so we will merge right so we will continue merging right we say continue merge 
because no overlapping is found right so how we'll do that we'll take a merge function to merge merge uh, intervals so two intervals we will merge suppose our current intervals we have and then the in given intervals we have right at i if we will merge this so after merge it should give a new merge and that merge is nothing but what we will say this is a current merge right okay like this we'll do this is our current intervals so we will update our current interval that we will we have merged this one correct and then we'll move to the next index plus plus if we are not merging right so we have to decrement and we we won't uh, skip the interval due to the outer loop right so we'll say minus minus right we don't skip the interval due to outer a for loop right this one we can't do that and so now we, what we have we have to add somewhere and that we will return this uh, value right let's suppose if this is not overlapping right so we have some answer we have let's suppose we have some answer uh, answer or new new, new uh, inter answer uh, interval list answer interval list let's suppose this is the function we have this is the list we have we will add here and we'll say our current interval here so we should create this one right so how we will get it before for loop we will create for loop and this will say what new array list and it will take what all the values and we'll say this is our what list of integer and right no list of int we can say list of array and the, because see what is taking it is taking list of current intervals right so whatever the current intervals we have that will add into the this one so once this is done right this loop is done what we should do after completing the for loop we will return this answer answer dot what two array we will convert into two array and will pass new int and will pass answer and then what its size right this one and another how many pairs we required two pairs required so answer at this one and this one right that's done so this is the main function in which we have to do what uh, first we will insert the new interval if we can insert this so we have the function this one insert function is here and uh, uh, it will update your uh, intervals if that is not the case we will move to all the uh, for loop right and uh, whatever the in, in, uh, updated we have that will uh, one by one we will add all the current intervals into the list and we will return this list into uh, what the, the interval form that is to the array so once we are going to the current intervals we'll check our intervals also right so two intervals we will pass here and we'll find our current intervals and we'll check if both intervals are overlapping is it overlapping then we will merge so we have created one merge one if it is not merging then we will add the current intervals into the list and then we will return that list that's all let's uh, run this so where i'm getting i is here i think we have taken extra I, this one yeah this is extra Mm, I interval and current and this network. No, I think we have to take one more. We have to take one more expected. This two. Uh, 
i is this is i this is 10 what is the error we have at i uh, illegal set of expression we have while loop i should be oh sorry sorry here here yeah sorry i should be less than intervals now what we have line number three intervals we will pass a new interval we pass this one right now uh, we'll go to line number 12 and check what uh, merge intervals right merge intervals have we created this merge interval no we have not created right so we have to create this one here let's suppose the merge interval we have right so how, what, what data we will return similarly that as we have did for the overlapping right so we'll pass a merge interval and this merge interval will take two things like we have passed these two right if it is not overlapping so after that we will return into what uh, let me go down and this will give you a current interval so we have to pass this interval correct so we should pass here and uh, what we have did here see we were checking this one right uh, merge interval right so if that is not overlapping right if that is not overlapping then we have to uh, make in the pair right how we will meet in the pair either we will return we'll do return in the pair so i can do in here directly we'll pass math dot mean right which one is mean so we'll take math dot mean and we'll pass two things uh, x at 0 and y at 0 which one is mean is our start which one is mean i is our start and uh, math dot max will pass what y at 1 and y at 1 right sorry x at 1 and y at 1 which one is max that is our end let's run this okay this will not take directly so what we will do we will take one variable and we will say this is our what our uh, new interval new interval after merge so it will take in the array right and this is our new interval do like this I think I did it wrong line number 41 here we have taken somewhere wrong what is the error we have cannot find the size okay return list we are doing return list line number 41 it will come here this is the size function we have to do like this yeah it will work so let me recap again what we have taken we have taken in, uh, insert function it in enter function we will return what intervals after that intervals we will return what uh, updated uh, we now we have updated intervals in the updated interval we'll check if this is overlapping if this is not overlapping we will then we will merge and uh, if that is not overlapping then we will add all the current into the list and we will return that list that's all let me submit this one yeah so thank you guys uh, the time complexity remains same for both a linear and binary both one thank you so much